Hi friends, welcome to A4 All is Well. Today we will see how to renew Saudi Council card. First, go to Google, then type Mumaris Plus. There you can see logging into Mumaris Plus. By using your ID and password, log into your account. If your Saudi Council card has already expired, then you can see a notification which is showing that your re registration is pending. Then check your CMA award status. If you have required hours, then you can start re-registration process. Required CME hours is varied for different health practitioners. Now, let's start re-registration process. For that, click on Start Re-Registration. When you open, the page will appear like this. Then click on Apply Now. Then they will ask whether you have required CPD hours. Then select the option. Then they will ask, do you have any interruption in continuous medical practice for more than two years? Then select the option, then click on next. Then you have to fill acknowledgement and declaration form, which contains nine questions related to your medical practice. Then select all no options, then click on apply for service. Then the page will appear like this. So now you have to complete your profile page first. You have to enter ID number and date of birth, then click on confirm. Then automatically all the details will appear down. But if you are renewing your card for the first time, you may need to fill the details. Which includes ID expiry, your full name in English and Arabic, nationality, country of birth, gender, marital status, religion, national address and mobile number. After completing the details, click on save. Then you can see your personal photo and passport details. If you are renewing for the first time, you may need to fill all these details. If you want to change your passport number, you can click on edit. Then you can add all the details regarding your passport and attach your new passport copy. After that, click on save. If you need to add more personal information, you can do that. Otherwise, you can go directly to next step, which is work experience. Here you can see that personal information bar has become green color, which means you have successfully completed that now add your work experiences that includes country city institute or hospital job title specialty sector type start date end date job description and you need to attach your recent experience certificate after that click on add please note that any documents that you are going to be attached should be less than 2 mb if you are renewing for the first time, you need to attach your data flow certificate as well as your degree certificate. Now we can move to next step which is application details. Here you can review your application summary and to make sure that documents that you are entered all are valid. After reviewing it, you can go to next step which is pay and submit. Renewal payment varies depends upon our profession. You can submit the fees either by Sadat bill or by Visa Mastercard option. If you are clicking on Sadat payment, a bill number will be generated. Then later you have to pay it. If you are clicking on Visa or MasterCard, you need to fill all the details which is showing in this page. A link is given in the description box for those who want to know how to pay Sadat bill by using Aldraji mobile application. After the payment submission, you can see that your application has been successfully submitted. It will take a couple of days to review your documents. In case of any incorrect or missing documents, the Saudi Council will notify you. Please note that there is a penalty for delaying for your professional re-registration process. To download your new card after issuing it, open your Mumaris account, then scroll down, there you can see registration certificate. Click on download, there you will get your new certificate. So friends, I hope this video was helpful. To get more informative videos like this, please subscribe my channel and do like, share and press the bell icon. Thank you for watching. A for all is well.